1981, former Senegalese footballer. Uh, your spouse as well. You, you, you are, you are also married, I suppose. A storied career in football. A whole lot of teams you've played for. But bienvenue. Do we say au Liberia or en Liberia? Which one? Liberia. Ah. <laughs> Bienvenue. Merci beaucoup. Okay, uh, but you but you can speak English, right? Of course, I try my best. Okay, so you can, let, you us, can. let us let us do the English version. Um, how does it feel being here? Uh, you know, it's always a pleasure to be here, uh, to come to see library and the people, but obviously to see the King George, the Mr. President. Mr. President. King George. So, uh, we all have a lot of respect about him because uh, you know. Uh, if we make it today to be a footballer, to be a professional footballer because of him, you know, that's why uh, for us to come here, it's always a pleasure because uh, we all have something to, 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 to come from George Ware. Hmm. Uh, very, very, uh, let me, uh, you, you, uh, did he inspire you in any way? You really seem to be in awe of uh, uh, George Ware. You already calling him King George, that's how all of you refer to him. What? What does he mean to you? He's our inspiration. I remember when I was at the at the village back in the day, uh, watching uh, TV. It was hard because we used to have like a uh, black and white TV, not a color TV, and we used to see George, uh, King George, uh, doing very well, and everyone wanted to be that time to be Liberian and to be very proud to be Africans. You know, that's why I say uh, to be here and to come here. Uh, we have to. Uh, we have to, uh, as a footballer, each footballer have to come here each year, uh, every year for one thing, uh, to do the pelerinage, like we say, because of uh, King George. Huh. You, 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 you are saying that every year footballers have to try to come to Liberia to pay homage to him? Definitely yes. Hmm. Definitely yes, because uh, if we make it, if everyone wants to be, uh, until right now, who doesn't want to Ballon d'Or, European Ballon d'Or? It's only him. We try. We did everything. Mm -hmm. but I it's can remember. It's you still, try. It's still, um, uh, it's still, I was number seven, mm -hmm. uh, but it's still only him to win it. We don't know how, but uh, is it me? I call him the son of God. What did God do for his life? You call him the son of God. Well, let us come to Asamoa Gian. You were also inspired by George Weah. Tell us a George Weah story. George Weah has been one of our inspiration, as my brother said. You know, um, growing up, um, I always say. Is one of is my favorite football of all time. You know, I'm talking about the only player who has won the Ballon d'Or ever. And um, the time he won it, that's 1995 when I was a kid. I was like 10 years. It was undisputed. You know, um, and that time he was even the face of Liberia. When you talk about Liberia, with all due respect to anybody, but he was the face of Liberia. You know, so we always look up to him growing up. And the most interesting thing is, I met him in Ghana, and then he told me he was a big fan of me. That day, I couldn't sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, somebody, somebody we've been admiring since our 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 infancy, and uh, anytime he scores, you remember that time Liberia was playing their home games in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So yeah. anytime Liberia was playing, we were, I was at the stadium at that time. Mm -hmm. you know? So he seeing me and telling me he was a big fan. I was like, oh my God. So I started calling my friends and telling everybody that day I was on top of the world, you know. <laughs> so we've been here. It's, it's a great honor, you know, to support the event that is happening, you mm. know. Supporting an event, he called me personally. I think he called my brother also personally. Mm. You know, I said, listen, because we are supporting your event, don't worry, we are coming to support you. We will pay our ticket, we will pay our hotel and everything. Did you, to make sure did you buy your own ticket? And definitely, we need to support a brother, you know, and uh, wow. an inspiration and everything. So, uh, me and my brother, we are here to support all the um, African legends are also here. Um, we are here to, to represent Liberia and, and, of course, a man that we adore when we were little, you know. So, it's a great pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let me read with you before I go to Jeff. Uh, uh, talking about this event, uh, Sports Park, I don't know if you've seen it. I have seen it, and I think it looks beautiful. Uh, I was in the UK for some time, and I know what I saw there. And so I think this is beautiful. I don't know if you've gone there to do the initial sightseeing yet. But what do you think it will mean for young people, for children, and all of that coming up? 
Oh, it's, it's, it's an inspiration for, for all the people coming up, you know, to have a great president who is trying to help his people. You know, um, I'm sure he's not going to be the president forever. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of kids at the university who will be president one day. There are a lot of kids coming from different, different places that are looking up to him, the good things he's doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they're going to continue his legacy. And um, he's been an inspiration to us as well. And even if we go to our country, um, we've been an icon in our country. Definitely, we also pick something from it. And not forgetting, he's somebody who opened the way for we, the football players, knowing that there is a hope. Mm -hmm. Because in my life, I've never seen a great footballer like his caliber being a president. You know, so he gave me hope. I think he gave my brother hope. He gave everybody footballers hope to have that ambition that you can still do it. Because when we were little, people thought we were illiterate, we couldn't do anything, we don't know anything about book. But King George, the president of Liberia, I don't see him as the football player. I see him as a president of Liberia right now. He's mm -hmm. done a lot and he's giving everybody hope that everything is possible in this world. And this is what he's doing for his country and he's helping a lot of people and we are here to support him. Mm -hmm. Let us go to Duke. Uh, our president, George Weah, got this inspiration, I think, from Senegal, your country. Uh, I think he said he saw his post back there, and he was like, I have to do something like this back home. Uh, what What do you think? What does it mean? Everyone know how uh, King George, the president, is too close to our president, Macky Sall. You know? Uh, they talk, I know, they, they can talk every day on the phone. And uh, Maki is a good inspiration as well. We're talking about all Africa. Maki Sala, our president, is, a, is a, one of the best president in the world. I uh, know him personally before he became president. He worked, he do a lot for the country. He take over after all ministry of our countries. And George and uh, Mr. George, the president, and uh, Maki Sala, they so, so, so close. And I think so. They've got the same mentality as well. Is to do a lot for, not for themselves, for the country. If you come to Senegal, you see we got today. We don't have a, we have everything. We have everything. My brother been here so far. He came here. My brother too. He knows Senegal. We got everything. And George wants the same thing. That's why he's so close to Macky Sall because they want only one thing: the best for he for own for his own people. You know, like uh, what my brother say again. Uh, me, I'm after my career, I'm involved in politics. I'm good with ambassador. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah you are. You are good with ambassador. You are also ambassador to the president. I think was I'm good with ambassador from the government and personal advisor to the president. And mm -hmm. one day I got my own movement, political movement. Yeah. And uh, I got a lot of people. A lot of people. I got uh, some people to work for me on the country. But why not tomorrow to become president? Because aspiration of Mr. George Ware. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we want only one thing after football. We should, Mr. George, will show everyone. Before everyone used to think footballers only can do, can play football, and after they them, you know. And now, Mr. King, King George, uh, what he did, it's unbelievable. Uh, you can uh, be footballers, uh, basketball, sportman, and after take your own responsibility. Why? And we know if George. Uh, George can, can stay in USA or France, Paris, living there, having good life. But he doesn't do it. He came here to help him his own, uh, in his own people, and that's 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 unbelievable. That's why people like us, uh, it was our inspiration when we was young as footballer. Today, it's gonna be inspiration for all the people to want to do politics as well. But we're talking about good politics, working for your own people, doing what 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 he did what he did. Uh, right now uh, infrastructure and uh, uh, we are here to help him and to talk to this young generation mm. he got all this thing about because of one thing you have to believe yourself mm. and you have to love your country and when he George used to play football he was so close to the people that's why today the people give him everything he's not only the president of uh, Liberia is a president of Liberia, definitely, but is a president of all footballers as well. The president of all footballers as well. A very, very impressive day. Uh, let me take you people back before we come back to this program. So let's let us come to you. You have you've played all over. You've uh, the World Cup 2010 perhaps uh, made you perhaps the most famous footballer in that tournament because of the game against Uruguay and we're all watching you and I'm now seeing the man I was watching on TV uh, when 
Luis Suarez handled the ball and you had to just put the penalty in as a boy jam. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> what went wrong? You know, um, I think um, it was destined to be like that, you know, because um, I remember in that tournament, I was in uh, the top shape of my life. You know, mm. um, I think that was my best year in my professional football career in mm. 2010. You know, everything was going right. Um, I scored um, the first in the first game to a penalty. Yeah. Second game to a penalty. You know, um, quarterfinals, I had to score again. And then, so I was, my confidence was like 100%. I was on top of the world. You know, so going to that penalty against Uruguay, I was so confident, you know, I knew I would have, I would, I would have scored easily because I was on, um, I'm a striker and when a striker is in, has the confidence, he can do anything at any time. Mm. So there was no panic, there was nothing, you know, but I think on that day, it was destined to be like that because when you watch the penalty that go that high, I've never shot a penalty that has gone that high, you know, and, um, so now I'm still thinking about it. How did my penalty go high? Because um, I always put it on, on the ground and everything. But on that very day, my penalty went high. So I, I feel like it was destined to, yeah. to happen. You know, but did it affect you in any way? I have to live with it to the rest of my life. You know, um, Sometimes when I'm alone in, in the room, it's, it just pops into my head. You know, And um, I feel like sometimes I feel like I want God to rewind the, <laughs> the days back you know, for me to shoot it again. But... Um, it, it has happened, so you have to just live with it. You know, sometimes my, my friends, they used to tease me with that, you know, and after, they just encouraged me with that, you know. So, it's something, as you said, it's something that had made me famous, sometimes on that day, in a negative way, but also in a positive way. Baby jet. Yeah, so um, it has opened the doors for me, and uh, sometimes I go to different countries that they know nothing about football. But on that very day, they saw it. So when they see, <laughs> when they see me, they, they don't know me anywhere. But when you say, "Oh, the guy who missed that penalty," they'll be like, "Oh, is that him? Oh, okay. So, but he is a very good player, you know. So the negative starts, and then you get a positive in return. I, I got a lot of uh, opportunities um, through. I think it's, it's a blessing in disguise. A blessing that. in disguise. Where, 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 where did you get the baby jet name from? Yeah, it was given to me by one um, journalist in, in Ghana called uh, Dangui Kuiwa. Um, when I was little, my face looked like a baby, you know, so um, people do call me baby. Mm -hmm. You know, that was my, na my name where I grew up. Everybody called me baby. So when I made my debut in 2003... And you started playing for the national team yes. at age 17, three yes. days to your birthday. Yes, in 2003, Yeah. you know, um, November 16th. So... Um, the way I was running my pace and everything, okay, you know, I was I like see. fast. When I take off, it was like a jet, you know, and okay. then everybody knew me as baby, you know. So because of my pace and everything, he just added a jet to it. So he always called me baby jet has landed, you know. So every time I score, he said, oh, the baby jet has landed. And then I'm baby jet, baby jet. And one day, you know, when you're playing, you don't listen to commentary, definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you have to come home and then listen. So when I, I, I listen, he was calling me, oh, the baby jet has landed. You know, so that was like, okay. And then, then everybody then, just started everybody coming. Started coming I see, be, be, before I come to Duke, <laughs> this year, be, because of the poor performance of uh, Ghana, uh, uh, at the African Cup, uh, people felt you didn't have a chance against Nigeria to qualify for the World Cup. Uh, where were you in the second leg? And, <laughs> and, and, and how were you watching, whether it was a television or the game live? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, my country. For, for the qualification because it wasn't easy, you know, uh, for what they've been through to, uh, from the African Cup of Nations. You know, people, we went out in the first round and people were surprised, you know, so just imagine the pressure, you know, going to the game against Nigeria, another giant, you know, so um, I think uh, they, they have to be congratulated for, the, for that because kudos to them. They did what they had to do. They were strong mentally going to that game. They prepared physically and mentally thinking a team like Nigeria, a, they are giants. And psychologically, we beat them, when you check the history of Ghana, we've beaten them more than they've beaten us. Mm. You know, so they have a lot of things going into that game. You know, and that rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria, yeah, Peter yeah. it's, it's a good rivalry. <laughs> we love each other. We love each other so much. You know, But that rivalry is there. We, they don't want us to beat them in anything, even when it comes to food, when it comes to music. They don't want us to beat them. 
So it's like that. It's a very good rivalry. You know, you can see Ghana and Nigeria supporting themselves each other. Mm. You know, but at the end of the day, um, it was a great game. You know, we were destined to qualify. Just check the results. It was zero zero in in in, in Kumasi, and then it was one one in Nigeria. Mm. So that was really tight. You understand? You know, mm. so we were destined to qualify, it and kudos to the to the to the Black Stars, and kudos to the GFA, everybody who is involved. You know, um, Samuel Nimado. I remember he's my manager. He went to the Kumasi, <laughs> begging people to come to the stadium to come watch the game. You know, because people were upset. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think they all did what they had to do for the team to qualify. So kudos to them. Uh, Dio, you 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 had a story career with Senegal as well. You <laughs> tried your best. You couldn't, I think, win the African Cup. Uh, Kevin was all, always breathing down. He was the with next. the team when they won the, uh, the cup. Yeah, he yeah. was with the team. Ah, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, first of all, that World Cup run. Beating was it France? Oh, it was two thousand two, yes. right? Yeah, uh, and everybody thought, "Wow, the Taranga Lions are really uh, doing something in this World Cup." And you are one of the stars of the show. Uh, because of that, for a long time, Senegal nobody heard Senegal about football because we're talking about like Ghana before Nigeria, you know. And Senegal was a small country with uh, on football, and uh, you know. We very lucky to have a good generation, myself, Tony Silva, Ali Kamara, Fadiga, you know. And we just like uh, meeting one day in Paris to say, why we not go to, all to the national team and uh, try to go, go to the African nation? We just want to go to the African nation cup. Okay? And we talk, we choose our own coaches, right? Bruno Metsu. Ah. We, and we did everything. From day one, we did everything. We have a meeting in Paris, do everything and say, let's go. We came, we cut, and for, for, for that year, is the first time they do the qualification for the first go to the World Cup and the first and second go to the African Nation Cup. And uh, we have a tough group at that time. Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, Senegal, and Namibia. Mm -hmm. And we finished first, and I was a top scorer. Uh, we scored uh, 14 goals. For the 14 goals, I scored 11. And that where my name coming from in Africa. Mm. We went to the first my first African Nation Cup, we played the final against Cameroon and we lose at the final. Uh, we lost the final and uh, penalty and I missed the penalty as well. Mm. Yeah. You know, we have something yes. similar. <laughs> <laughs> all, all big players have to miss it, Maradona. <laughs> uh, I'm sure George missed one, one as well. <laughs> <laughs> and like what they say, uh, the, the best thing is about like uh, uh, for us, and each players have to know the ambassador for the country and for the for the for the for the for, the, for, the, for Africa, you know, for the continent. Uh, like when we play against France in the World Cup, I just want to show the whole people because on that time we played against France. Maybe somewhere in the world they don't know where Senegal is, and we have to put we have to put on the map where Senegal is on that day. Is a one day with one game, the opening game against who? against the world, friend, the world champion and the European champion, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I say, as a young man like me, I got a good opportunity. I'm blessing to play that game. I have to show Zinedine Zidane where El Hadidouf coming from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and, and, and now Senegal uh, had to win against Egypt in the African Cup and then you had to play the game for the qualification to the World Cup. How was that? Uh, like, what they, like what they say, uh, Senegal is a good inspiration today. Uh, our team, our management is, is a good inspiration today in the world and in Africa and in the continent. Because before, uh, they just, uh, everyone want to just have a, like a coach coming from Europe. Mm. And today we have Ali Sisse as a coach. Yep. He used to be our captain. I'm the team manager. Lamin Jata, coordinator. Tony Silva, goalkeeper, goalkeeping coach. Okay. And we have as well, Shersek, you know, our uh, uh, goalkeeper back in the day is uh, is on the team as well. We <laughs> know with that we're going to win because Sadio Mane have a, he's a very good player but he got a lot of respect for what I did mm -hmm. and for the country. And if you're asking Sadio Mane today, he tell you, my inspiration is El Hadjidouf. And if I'm his inspiration, I have to be close to him, mm -hmm. to talk to him, to help him. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And I think so. Liberia should to do that, okay. and uh, Ghana need a Samoa You have to be, like I tell you, you have to be 
around these boys because they listen to you and you you can help them. You've been there already. And I think so if we win this, this World Cup, uh, we know we have the we, this African nation, maybe we're going to win this World Cup. You know, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, and and uh, I think so uh, all Africans, all team of Africa need to do the same thing like Senegal. We see today Mali did, did the same thing. Uh, uh, Guinea, Cameroon. Guinea, Cameroon, they did the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I think so. Uh, not because they finished playing football, you don't use them anymore. We need everyone to win because we're winning by a one thing, organization. We need everyone to win because we win by one thing, organization. This is the OK conversation we have with us. Uh, two former stars, football stars, one from Ghana, the baby Jet Asamu Ajian. Uh, we also have Elijah Du from Senegal. Uh, let's go to Jian. Jian, I understand uh, that you have written a Have you written a book already? <laughs> yeah, um, um, I've written a book which is about to be launched on the 30th of April, which is this month. You know, and. Um, a lot of dignitaries will be coming and um i've invited the king himself oh, the president okay. of liberia okay mr jovia you know um, um he has um honored the invitation you know um, i've invited my other king who also look up to him okay you know when he was doing great yeah. in, the, in the world cup i was at school at that time elaj diof is here he's going to grab grand occasion as well if he doesn't invite me as well i go <laughs> <laughs> you know and um, yeah. also, that's the cool family <laughs> and all the the legend and um also uh, the special guest of honor is um my president president nana Dankwa Akufu Ado. okay everybody will be will be coming. what is the book about um the title of the book is legendary you know my name is jan and you know it's legendary <laughs> in english so using the jan It's legendary. Okay. You know, um, this is about my life. It's about how I started. You know, a lot of people see what they have to see in the media mm -hmm. and everything, like a penalty shootout and all these things, but they don't know what was behind it. You know, so I want people to know how the Asamoajan came about, how he started his life since he was born, mm -hmm. the things he'd been through. You know, um, there are a lot of. Um, criticisms there are a lot of scandals there are a lot of a lot of things people say about me that they don't they have nothing they have no clue about it you know so on this day when everybody read the book everybody will gonna understand my part of the story which is gonna inspire the young ones who are coming you know uh, i think i'm the first player to 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 write a book um in, in my country you know so um My family feel proud of me. My friends, they feel proud of me. My manager, everybody feel proud of me. You know, so I think this is going to inspire others to also do it because we read books. You know, we read different kind of books with mm. people that we don't even know. But it inspires us. What of an icon who everybody knows, you know, to write a book. And, and, and you also experimental with music. Of course, you know, music has been uh, my, my life also. You know, so that is why... I wrote the book, so you're gonna see how the music thing came about. Okay, let's see if we have something here on him very quickly before we take a few calls. Because uh, we're running out of time, the news people will soon be breathing down my necks. I hope they can give me a few more minutes. Uh, that would be so good. Okay, that doesn't seem to be coming forth. Well, let's take uh, a few calls on 0777-995-0555. Uh,
a legend and inspiration. And I agree with them when they say President Weah is an inspiration. He is not just an inspiration to the footballers. He is an inspiration to the slum dwellers. Because when you follow his life, you will come to realize how he grew up. To be to where he is, it took focus and courage. And that is why most slum dwellers in Liberia now are doing something better to be great like President Weah. So we say thank you to you guys for the support. You are most welcome to the land of liberty. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Okay, thanks. So kindly, let's take this one. Welcome, what's the name? Hello. Yeah? David, come to my name. Go ahead, sir. So kindly, of, sir. Let's take uh, more calls right here. Welcome. Let's hear you. What's your name? On the MTN line? So kind of, I'll hold you right there. Welcome. <laughs> let's, let's hear you. What's your name? So kind of like, welcome, let's hear you, what's your name? Welcome, let's hear you. 
Yeah, for me, I think it's a gener- generational thing, and um, for me, um, they have to um, limit the expectations of the of the of the country. You know, um, look at this African Cup of Nations. Look at a country like Comoros. Mm-hmm. You know, that was their first time being to the African Cup of Nations. Look at how they are playing football. And um, I think for me, when you start from the grassroots again and then try try to build up. Um, I think you, you're going to uh, get to uh, that far because I have played Liberia before and I know, I saw the quality of the players they have. You know, I know some of the uh, players are outside the country. You know, some of the players are uh, playing different, different places. And I think when we just take our time and then um, make sure we start everything to limit the expectations mm. and build the team from, from scratch, um, I think uh, Liberia will, will get to somewhere because naturally um liberia have got some quality quality players that can prove themselves and uh, make sure they, they they can do better in africa okay uh do you want to come in well like what uh what uh I did, uh, what uh asama was saying right now uh if you're working around definitely you're gonna find some unbelievable player here uh just like uh what i say before you have to your political uh, sport have to be uh, done by uh, academies. If you see today Senegal, we win the African Nation Cup, but each players start from uh, most of the players they come from to the country and they work in the academy from Senegal, Generation Food or or Jambar, you know, uh, good academies, and they have to start here. They have to start here playing, and uh, the government have to help them a lot as well because that have have to come from from the government as well uh, and I think so King, King George and uh, you cannot have a place like King George and say is only one in this country no chance you have I know you have a thousand and thousand million then uh, like uh, King George just you have to uh, 
recharge and go to organize some small games in each town and to find some good players and to take care of them as well. And oh. after that, to take them to Europe because they have to go to Europe to learn what high level football means. Hmm. Because uh, if you see the team of Senegal today, we can play any football team in the world because, uh, not because I'm Senegalese, Mendy for me is the best goalkeeper in the world. Mm -hmm. You have a Koulibaly and Abdullah Jalou. Even though these few days he hasn't been so good. Yeah, but some things are... I'm a Chelsea fan. It's, 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 like, it's like strikers. <laughs> you can score every time. Okay. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, I, I'm sure we'll talk to you on Saturday again because you, you will be at the sports park on Saturday for a game. So, so um, we're going to talk to you people again. So I'd like to invite everybody to come mm -hmm. um, and support the event. You know, it's a very, very important event for um, Liberians. Um, all the people in Liberia so I'm pleading to everybody to come support us and then we make everybody happy and then of course we are here to support um, our king our president our everything you know Mr. George Bia. so I'm inviting everybody okay thanks so kindly that's how we go uh, straight over to news sorry to the and, news and team, don't, but that's come, how it don't is. come late because I get on the show <laughs> <laughs>